How are we doing guys? Today we're going to talk about knives. Uh, predominantly the chef knife that you're going to be using while doing the majority of your cooking. There are other knives that you could use. I don't know if you can see them behind me. Uh, you have your utility knife, your paring knife, and your bread knife. Obviously bread knives are just used for bread. Uh, they have serrated edges in them to make them slice through the dough a little bit easier. Your utility knife is a little bit longer, maybe about five inches, uh, nice and thin, about, about an inch wide, that's it. Uh, maybe even a little less. It's just used for things that a big chef knife isn't going to be good for. And your paring knife, which is a smaller one, it's only maybe about three inches, is used just for that. It's for paring fruits and vegetables, just to cut off skins and, and cut up things a little bit easier and you don't really need a bigger knife. Now your chef knife is your tool that's going to be used the most is your biggest knife. It could be anywhere between 8 to 10 inches long, um, not including the handle, okay? This, that's just a blade. Now your, your, your basic chef knife is going to look something like this. Now this is obviously, it's a black knife. Uh, I bought that specifically to go with my black countertop that you see behind me. Um, it's, this is a Home Hero knife. I actually got this off of Amazon. It comes with a, an acrylic case and they all stand up straight this way and they line up nice and pretty. It kind of looks like the Game of Thrones uh, throne. If, yeah, because they're all, they're all standing like this and they angle themselves as they go up, but it's pretty cool. Um, this is a standard chef knife. Nothing crazy, right? Nothing big deal about it. Nice and thin. Uh, has a nice plastic handle. Um, this is kind of flimsy. I mean, it was really less than 20 bucks on Amazon. Uh, if you want to check that out, if you, you know, you're interested in a shed, set of black chef knives uh, and other knives. But this is your standard knife, okay? Now, you hold your chef knife pretty much, well, I can't really show you with that hand, like this, okay? This is how you would hold a chef knife as you're cutting, okay? That is what I learned in my three-day intensive culinary course. That is the most education I have. Never went to culinary school, never did anything. I'm home trained except for that three day, eight hours a day, learning how to basically hold a knife, all right? I can't do it on this finger because of an accident when I was 12, so that finger's kind of useless. You don't really want to rest it on top because it throws off the balance, okay? So, but that's your standard chef knife, okay? You gotta keep these things sharp, keep them clean, and they'll last you a long time. Now, what you could also do is you could go for the celebrity chef knives, okay? Like this one here. See, it has a little curve in it, has a different type of handle, it's one solid piece of metal. This is a Giada de Laurentiis knife that I got at Target for under $20. Okay, this is modeled, I believe, after the Global series of kitchen knives. Um, she uses them on her shows all the time, so she came out with her own, and this is pretty much what it is, and this thing is actually filthy, so disregard that. I just took it out of the drawer. Um, but I like using this a lot because it, it rocks nicely and it's light, very, very light. So that's an option too. It really does the exact same thing as my other knife, except it just looks differently. I have a hard time finding something comfortable because of my fingers, you know, as, as I just told you. Now, another option you can go for is a ceramic knife. Now, a ceramic knife is just that. It's not a metal blade. It's made out of ceramic. Um, but don't let that fool you because these things are sharp as hell, all right? And these things don't need sharpening, supposedly. That's what the, the box says. Um, they'll never need sharpening, and there's, there's only a very certain way that they could be sharpened if they ever need to be. We don't recommend any home cooks or any novice people doing that. We'll bring it to a professional, and they'll, they'll do it. Um, pretty sturdy, okay? I actually, this is my son's knife. I let him use this only because it never needs sharpening, it's easy to clean, and it's small for him, okay? This is a, considered a chef knife or a cook's knife. Uh, it's a bigger than a utility knife, but smaller than a standard chef knife. Ceramic, it's pretty cool. Um, if getting things like that, also sometimes they come with their own cases, their own knife guards that you could just slide in, you know, and it's easy for storage so it doesn't damage the blade. I highly suggest that on all your knives if you're going to put them in a drawer. Always get a cover for it so the blade doesn't get damaged. Now lastly, you may have watched in my last video, um, I had a special knife, okay? I had one made specifically just for me, all right? I designed this, okay? And I designed it with my hand 
in mind because it gets my finger out of the way. All right. So now I can pretty much hold it any which way I want. If I want to put my middle finger through, if I want to put my index finger through, I could actually hold it to get my finger out of the way. Now this is a really wide blade. It's a two inch, uh, two inches wide. It's one eighth of an inch thick, and it's a solid piece of metal all the way through. I had Dan uh, from DF Custom Knives make this for me. He's up in upstate New York. If you guys are interested in that, I'll, I'll link his his uh, website in the description of this. Uh, he had one of these made for me. If you want one of these, I'm actually going to be selling these. I'm going to have these made and sold. So if you want one, let me know. They are custom made. Every blade is handmade and hand sharpened and everything here in, uh, in New York. So these things are really great. It is sharp. Dan did a great job of sharpening this knife. I know because it cut my finger the first time I had it. And you know what? I'm okay with that. I've used it in pretty much all my cooking since last week, since I've gotten the knife. You've seen it in, uh, you've probably seen it in some of my videos, and if you haven't, because uh, I probably haven't posted it yet. So, this is my knife. When I say my knife, I designed it. It's mine, all right? It, it makes it quite comfortable to hold. It actually gets your finger out of the way, makes it a little bit more sturdy, and it's easy to use. So you could use it as a slicing, you could use it as a chopping, and you could, pretty much do anything you want with this. It is sturdy metal. This thing is great. This is my new knife that I'm going to be using all the time. Now, be very careful when you're using knives in the kitchen for obvious reasons. I don't really need to explain why. Okay, these things are sharp, they're dangerous, you can cut yourself. Now, if you're cooking food for somebody and you cut yourself, guess what? If that blood is in that food, that food needs to be discarded. You need to start all over again. That is common sense. It helps prevent disease and bloodborne everything, okay? So let's just be very careful with that. Be very careful in the kitchen. It is a dangerous place. If you see my son or my sons, because I have two, in here with me, I am under. they are constantly under supervision from me because I do not want them to end up like me with a damaged hand. So, nah, that didn't happen in the kitchen, by the way. So just put that one out there. So anyway, listen up, guys. The tools are important in the kitchen. A crappy knife will give you crappy food. You're not going to be able to cut right. It's going to take you a long time. You're going to be uncomfortable. You're going to get frustrated. And you're not really going to enjoy the process. I love doing this. I'm showing this to all you guys. So hopefully um, you'll get a little something out of it. And who knows? Maybe you guys will become home cooks too if you're not already. So like I said, if you want uh, this knife, which is called the Jaer, J-A-E-R, chef knife, I'm going to be having these for sale pretty soon, so uh, keep an eye out on my channel, also on my website, uh, which I will link in to the description as well. Alrighty, that's it for today. Tools of the trade, be very careful with them. You have yourself a great day.